title, The Silent Room. It was just a stupid dare. One of those things friends come up with when they're bored, daring each other to do the impossible. But Emma wasn't one to back down. Not even from this. The house on Sycamore Lane, where the stories of disappearances and strange noises seemed to be everyone's favorite urban legend. But no one had ever really tried going in, until tonight. As she approached, the house loomed like a predator, waiting. It was no ordinary abandoned home, the way its roof slanted unnaturally, like it had leaned in to hear her coming. Every window was dark, like eyes hollowed out and filled with shadows. The door creaked open without her even touching it, inviting her in. She hesitated, but only for a second. Stepping inside, Emma immediately felt the air change. It was heavier, thick like water, pressing in from all sides. Dust hung in the air, the kind that clings to your throat, making you cough without warning. The wooden floor groaned beneath her, like the house was shifting to make room for her presence. The stories weren't enough to stop her. But something else, something unspoken was holding its breath in here, waiting. She moved through the house, her footsteps swallowed by the silence. Rooms stretched out on either side, empty, as if everything had been packed up in a rush and never returned. She felt eyes on her, though she knew she was alone. Or was she? There was a room at the end of the hallway, its door cracked open just enough to show the dark beyond. Something cold brushed the back of her neck. She turned. Nothing. But she couldn't shake the feeling that she was no longer welcome. The last room called to her. She didn't want to go in, but her feet betrayed her, dragging her toward the darkness. The air was colder here, almost frigid. Inside, the only thing left was an old mirror, framed in tarnished gold. It stood tall, almost regal, but the glass was warped, its surface stained with time and neglect. Emma's reflection stared back, but something felt off. As she moved closer, her reflection didn't quite follow. Its movements were delayed, slightly wrong, like watching an old broken video clip. She blinked, and the reflection didn't. It smiled instead, a grin too wide, too knowing. Emma's breath caught in her throat. She stepped back, her pulse pounding in her ears. The reflection took a step forward. Not her, it, a thing wearing her face like a mask. She spun around to leave, but the door slammed shut with a force that shook the walls. Her heart leapt into her throat. She rushed to the door, pulling, yanking, but it wouldn't budge. A voice, low and rasping, whispered from the dark corners of the room. You shouldn't have come. It wasn't her voice. It wasn't anyone's voice she recognized. She turned back to the mirror, her reflection standing perfectly still, grinning. You'll never leave. Cold fingers brushed against her skin again, this time firmer. She gasped and turned, but nothing was there. Her hands trembled as she pounded on the door, screaming for help. But all she could hear were her own desperate breaths. And then it started. The whispering. Soft at first, like the wind stirring through dead leaves. But it grew louder, closer. The walls seemed to hum with it. The mirror, it was laughing. Her reflection's mouth moved, but the sound didn't come from there. It echoed around her, bouncing off the walls, ringing in her ears. You can't run, the voice taunted. You're already trapped. Emma felt her legs shake, her knees threatening to give way, but she refused to collapse. She refused to let it win, but she couldn't move. Her body was frozen in place. The room started to twist, the walls bending inward, closing her in like a coffin. The mirror's surface rippled like water, and she saw something behind her reflection now. A figure, shrouded in shadow, creeping closer, its hands long, skeletal, reaching. She tried to scream, but no sound came out. The air was gone, sucked out of her lungs by the thing that watched her, that waited. She stumbled backward, her eyes locked on the thing in the mirror. It pressed a bony hand against the glass. And then slowly, it pushed through, cold, solid, impossibly real. Emma backed into the corner, her body trembling with terror, her heart hammering against her ribs. It whispered again, its voice dark and hungry. You're mine now. The last thing she saw was her own face, twisted into something she didn't recognize, grinning at her with empty, hollow eyes. And then, the darkness took her. The mirror went silent, the house on Sycamore Lane waiting once more for the next one. The next one brave enough or foolish enough to come inside.